Well, hello, YouTube. Steve Pat with General Pat Bushcraft back with you with another super exciting video, friends. Today's video is the recap of Alone Season 11, Episode 9, titled Wormhole. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, friends, this is the recap of Alone Season 11, Episode 9. They're up in the Arctic Circle. This uh, title for Episode 9 is titled The Wormhole, and every show starts with a famous quote from a famous person, and this, this uh, episode's quote is, In a completely sane world, madness is the only freedom. And that's from J.G. Ballard. All right, let's get right into it. It's day 40, 8.58 in the morning, and there's four people remaining. We got Sarah. We got Dub, William, and Timber. Those are the four. And the show starts out with Timber. He's the 35-year-old from Indiana, USA. It's 28 degrees, and he makes a range hood out of a piece of moose hide. Remember, friends, he had a smoke problem in his shelter uh, he seems to have fixed that problem with that uh, piece of moose hide. There's a lot of snow on the ground, and he's complaining about the mice. The mice are out of control, friends. He had a piece of jerky stuffed in the rafter right above his bed. Last night, a, a, a mouse was eating on that. The mouse fell down on his head and then was bouncing around all over his bed. So he's just like everybody else. They got mice problems. Friends, and he's telling us his teeth are so sore from eating jerky. He goes out, checks the snares, nothing on the, in the snares, no tracks in the snow. But he goes to the old kill side of that big bull moose and he finds the rib cage. And he takes some of the bones from the rib cage for some bushcraft projects back to the shelter all right friends it's day 41 now 10 28 in the morning and the show goes over to sarah she's 48 years old from alaska usa she's very dehydrated she did the old pinch test on her skin and it didn't bounce back it stayed pinched together she figures she's very dehydrated she heats up some broth and she's telling us she has not gone to bed hungry one time in 40 days and that she's still in it, friends. We see her outside the shelter cutting firewood. She's uncomfortable. She's got some pain under her rib. She's very weak and getting scared, but she's not done yet though, friends. Okay, friends, it's day 41 still and it's 11.38 in the morning now and the show goes over to Dub. He's 44 years old from Michigan, USA. He wakes up hungry. Oh, friends, hold on a second. It's 11.38 at night, p.m. He wakes up hungry. And friends, he's got a fish head stored right there in his shelter. Wakes up hungry. He starts cooking that thing, and he's got a midnight snack with that fish head. So good on him, but he gets a wild hair. He goes down to check the gill net at midnight, friends. His, he's, his thinking is that he's losing some of these fish in the, in the middle of the night. They're wiggling around and they're getting out of his net. So he goes down and checks it. As soon as he gets out on the trail, there's wolves howling, friends. And it's kind of spooky. He gets down there. Nothing in the gill net. He points the camera to the stars. He shows it's a clear night. Lots of stars in the sky, and he wants to put his glasses on, friends. He reaches in the pocket of his jacket, and he sees that his glasses are broken again, friends. So he needs to do a repair on those glasses. All right, day 42, 127 in the afternoon. Show goes over to Timber. And friends, he is fighting and hunting mice in his shelter. Excuse me again, it's 1.27 a.m. in the morning. It's the middle of the night. He's up, can't sleep. He's hunting mice. And, and friends, I've watched a lot of these alone shows, and that's one of the things that will drive a person crazy 
just cray cray are the mice especially when the snow hits the ground friends they come into that shelter and they're going to eat everything in your shelter and remember even that one season they they uh they chewed uh the guy's bowstring in half on his bow okay now it's uh 2 39 in the morning and the show goes right over still day 42 middle of the night the show bounces over to dub and dub is up he can't sleep he's repairing his glasses friends he's melting some paracord and he does a mighty fine job repairing those bloke those broken uh glasses so good on him he puts them on he looks kind of crazy but at least they're working good on dub all right friends 3:44 in the middle of the morning middle of the night the show bounces over to william william's 49 years old from labrador canada and he's up in his shelter he can't sleep all right 4 22 in the morning now the show bounces over real quick over to back over to sarah she's up and awake she's been up all night can't sleep she's in a lot of pain horrible pain friends she finally gets up gets out of the shelter at 11 30 in the morning she's hanging tough she combs her hair and gets on the hunt looking for some more birds looking for some spruce grouse lots of snow on the ground and she's complaining friends a lot of pain friends she can't take it and sarah taps out on day 42. okay friends it's day 43 508 p.m three people remain all men now we got william dub and timber and the show goes over to william he goes down to uh get some beaver out of his food cache gets over there unpiles it he's got this hole that he found that's kind of dug in the side of this rock uh, uh, cliff and he buried that papoose that that young uh, beaver in that hole and then he covered it up with some spruce boughs and a lot of heavy rock so he uncovers the food cache and he takes out uh, a couple beaver parts takes out a papoose paw and he cooks it up right there and eats that beaver paw there's a lot of fat on it uh for the size of that little paw so he eats that he's doing pretty good it's day 45 21 degrees william goes down to check the snares nothing in the snares no tracks in the snow so he's getting hungry again he goes back up to the food cache to get some beaver meat this time from that papoose and friends all of his beaver is completely gone oh my goodness william is not learning his lesson friends he tried to do that one food cache on that long pole through the tree hanging off the cliff and remember that martin climbed out there and chewed a hole in his gator so he's having a hard time he's completely out of food now okay friends it's day 45 to 11 p.m and the show goes over to timber and we see him in his shelter making some gorge hooks out of those bones that he got off that moose rib cage. Real nice, super sharp hooks, friends. And we learned that he's down to four steel hooks out of 25. Participants are allowed to bring 25 hooks. He's down to four. So good strategy on timber, making some gorge hooks. So he goes out checks the snare line five snares he has set out there he's chewing jerky out there checking the snares he gets to his fifth and final snare the first four were empty the fifth one he's got a giant snowshoe hair in the snare whoo it's still alive he runs over clubs it with the stick friends and we see him clean that thing eat that he's got a lot of moose he's got a little bit of fish and he's feeling very comfortable in the shelter that evening friends so good on timber all right friends day 46 10 37 in the morning the show goes over to william it's 24 degrees and his strategy is to do some ice fishing he's not sure how thick the ice is on the river 
So his strategy is to build a fish ladder, which is super smart, and that's to distribute the weight on, excuse me, on that thin ice. They can walk out on the frozen river on that fish ladder and distribute the weight a little bit more evenly across that ladder so it's not just pinpointed on each step. A lot better so you don't fall through thin ice. As he's just about finishing up, friends, that uh, that fish ladder, <laughs> these grouse start flying in, friends. Four of them fly in. He shows us two of them on the camera. Friends, he stops making the fish ladder and he goes and gets a long pole. Remember, he got one of those grouse early on on a long pole and a snare. Friends. Wow, we William catches a grouse on a long pole with the snare on the end of the pole. He just gently puts the snare right in front of the bird. The bird flies into the snare and snares himself. Oh, we good on William because he was completely out of food. So he snatches up 500 calories on that spruce grouse. Good on William. Okay, friends, it's day 47, 136 in the morning, and we see Dub in the shelter. He's belching and burping, feeling sick. He's throwing up. And friends, that following morning, he climbs out of the shelter, and he lets us know this is the first time he's been out of bed for the last three days. He's been super sick for the last three days, friends. Still sick, but feeling a little bit better. He goes down, checks the gill net. Nothing in the gill net. Dub has lost 35 pounds so far. So he cooks a little bit of fish, friends, back at the shelter. And oh, wow. He finds something he did not want to see. He finds a tapeworm in the filet of burbot, friends. Oh, my goodness. So he lays off the burbot, climbs back into bed, and at 11.45 that night, he talks about tapping out, the urge of tapping out, how strong it gets. And st his stomach is really hurting, friends, but Dub's pretty tough. He's pretty stubborn, friends, so he's hanging in there. Okay, friends, it's day 51 now. 11.29 in the morning, the show goes up back over to Timber, it's 25 degrees. He goes out and sets a couple of fish lines with those uh, hooks that he made out of those uh, bones from the moose rib cage. And back to the shelter, he's very warm, friends, in his shelter with his shirt off. He's looking pretty thin. He's looking in the camera and he says he's looking thin. He's, and we learned that he's lost 30 pounds so far. He gets up, goes down, checks those set lines, those fish lines, and he, friends, he's got a fish on a gorge hook. Wow. Big old fish. He puts the camera down the mouth of that fish and shows us how that gorge hook worked coming out the side of his neck. And Timber's feeling very, very strong, friends. Ooh, we good on timber. All right, friends, it's day 53 now, 1057. Dub's feeling much better. Checks the gill net down at the river, friends. He figures this is about the last day he could use the gill net. The river's about to freeze over. Friends, he's got a 38-inch coney in that, uh, gill net a 38 inch in canoe back to the shelter we learned that he's got 50 over 50 pounds stored up in his shelter of fish and as he's looking at the fish he shows us the problem friends of his three day four day sickness he got he has a full pike frozen in his shelter he's storing 50 pounds of fish up in his shelter and he shows us this big pike where the mice have been chewing on it and then defecating inside the clean fish he thought he was just eating some fish that had some dirt stains but it's the mice poop he figures that's what's made him sick friends 
he figures he's not going to eat the pike. He's going to go ahead and cut the tail off, try to save what he can, salvage a little bit of meat off that pike, but he's not going to eat most of it, friends, and the show ends right there. Good show, friends. Everybody's got lots of food. They're catching lots of fish. I'm really impressed with William getting those uh, spruce grouse with the long pole and the snare. Very impressive, friends. That concludes my recap of Alone Season 11, Episode 9, titled Wormhole. I want to thank you guys for stopping by the channel. Before you leave, please consider subscribing. <laughs> If you do subscribe, bang that bell icon in the drop down menu, do select all friends. I can't wait to see how this show ends. I got my money on Timber. He's looking very strong, but Dub is stubborn, friends. I got my money on uh, Timber. Leave me a comment. Let me know who you think's gonna win this. Listen, I appreciate everything you do for the channel. All your views, all your likes, all your shares. Most importantly, all your comments. Leave me a comment. Let me know who you think is going to win this. And please, please don't depart from the faith. And those of you out there that haven't given your life to Christ, He died for you. He loves you very much. You need a Savior, friends. You don't just die and the light goes out. You keep going on when you drop your body. Make sure you go to heaven. Do it today. Don't wait. Use your free will. It takes your free will, friends. All right. As always, God is good. God is great. I see y'all on the next video. Already got a date.